Hey YouTubers, it's Mark from Truth Seeker, and I'm in Soul 643. Uh, let's see if we get it to focus. Just want to show you. Yep, 643, NASA's website. And uh, I get a couple minutes just to do a real quick video. I wanted to get it out there. And then I got a couple more coming tonight, and there's some another situation I want to address. But I just felt it was important to get this out there because I just thought it was something cool to show you guys. I'll get your take on it, see what you think. You know, as usual, you know, we got some black smudging. You can see there's items behind it. You can see how it's the minute you could just see there's like weird manipulation around this stuff. Very strange. Very strange. I'm no expert, as I always say, and like I've been saying from day one, you know, I'm never right 100% of the time, but all it takes is for one of these anomalies to be real, just one, and man, does it change everything, you know, the same goes for everybody that's doing this, you know, we're, n we're never all right, you know, we all make mistakes, but, you know, it just takes that one anomaly, man, it changes everything. And uh, unfortunately, we just can't get NASA to address anything, no matter what you show them. Uh, and there was another another thing I wanted to show you real quick. I mean, just look at how strange this stuff looks. And then you can see the heavy black blocking. You can almost see the outline of what used to be here. And this is just an original picture off of NASA's website, nothing. I just opened it up, looked at it, and, you know, I could see pixels are moved, you know, pieces are cut. See how this is just cut right off? See how this looks like a carving of just a little horse? I mean, you could see that this this was a statue or a gravestone. I mean, you could just see. I mean, I, I just don't understand what... I just don't understand what NASA's doing. I just don't understand it anymore. Why are they even showing us these pictures? This is what's most confusing to me. Why are they even showing... I just... I mean, I'm up at night thinking about this. Why are they even showing me stuff like this and you guys... Why? I mean, look, you can see that these are just not, you know, rocks. I mean, there's, I just don't understand what they're doing. You know? I mean, every day, I, you know, you open the news and you're, you know, you, for somebody like me, I don't know how everybody else thinks, but I'm always, since I was a kid, I was always, you know, checking and waiting for somebody to say, yeah, NASA's, NASA's releasing something. Wow, you know, NASA said, oh, there is life on other planets, you know. And every day, you know, as an anomaly researcher, it's, you know, that's what you're waiting for, you know. But like Mr. Lear says, John Lear, he, he says disclosures hundreds of years away, a hundred years at least. So, here I'm going to open up uh, Adobe real quick and just adjust the brightness and contrast, and we'll take a look at it there and see. And now I'm in Adobe. Let me just uh, step back a couple steps and show you. This is what we got. No crazy manipulation, just a little saturation. I mean, a little contrast, and then I dropped the saturation. And then I'm zoomed in. Yeah, nothing. Uh, nothing, nothing, you know. Nothing out of the ordinary. 
just you know my normal my normal thing and anybody that you know wants details step by step you know just email me as usual any people that always you know wanted to know step by step emailed me and, you know there's no big secret up you know it's kind of boring you know it's nothing uh, once in a while I'll use uh, Microsoft uh, picture at 10 I'll take the picture in there first and uh, they have a, a noise removal thing in there and I kind of like it I, I, I love it actually I, I like it better this one I didn't I didn't do it too but I uh, I like using it it's the denoise in uh, Adobe but I'm using an older version on this computer this old laptop it's uh, Adobe I think 5.0 or 7 I think this one's 7 let's see yes Adobe 7.0 but uh, yeah, I don't, uh, I don't like, uh, I just don't like, the, what the hell, man, I can't get this thing out. <laughs> oh, great. All right, hold on, let me get this thing to disappear. I gotta get this thing to disappear, you know. Usually, uh, you know, I use like Denoise or something, and I use it in Picture Microsoft Picture at 10. I kind of like the one in there, uh, the Denoise or noise removal. The one in uh, this is Adobe 7.0. It's an older version on this old laptop. I just don't like the noise removal. Even uh, you know, I was turned on to a new copy of Photoshop on uh, a little home system I use and I just don't like the noise removal in there neither but that's neither here nor there it's not a big deal um, you know, as always I give you the links you can go download them and basically you can see what I'm saying I'm just giving you a road map to find this stuff uh, I don't get too complicated into uh, you know tearing these things apart uh, you know I'm no wizard when it comes to Photoshop, real primitive. As you can see, if you look, watch my last 140 videos. I tried using the burn tool in two of my videos, and it just doesn't didn't work out for me. I'll get into that later about that whole debacle, but uh, this is more important. All right, there's one other thing I want to show you. Let's go to it. Here's that little section down at the bottom. Here's that little thing that I said looks like a little horse. Look, I mean, just look at some of the stuff. It's just, I think it's cool. I think it's really, you know, it's strange, but I mean, I love, I love this statues, carvings, you know, stuff like that. Uh, anything that's got to do with, uh, you know, this kind of research. You know, my head wants to explode sometimes. I just, you know, I'm very passionate. And I don't hide my emotions. I get excited, I let you guys know. That's it. It's out there. I lay it out there. Because sometimes it makes my blood boil with what they're hiding, you know. I don't like this, which I can't make heads or tails of, so I'm not going to get too into it. But this here looks like it's got a plate on top, with some type of pipe coming out the side, and another layer on the bottom with something in the middle. And then you can just see all this. I mean, this is all fake. This is all blocking. I mean, you could just see what they did. This is not sand. What happens is, I believe, it's just my beliefs and my opinion, is when they add this sand, this fake color, it takes all the shadows away. So we can't tell if something's standing up. Because we use shadows. I mean, I believe we do. We use shadows to, you know, give an item, you know, a 3D. You know, it looks 3D to us, you know. it's That's how we judge things, you know. You see shadows, light reflections, and... 
you know, when they start taking this stuff away. I mean, I just don't see how some of this stuff can just be natural rocks. And what makes me even more suspicious is, is when I email asking NASA for a little more information and maybe, you know, if there's another photo that they could post of a different angle, because I'm sure they have them, you never get a response. So that even makes me more suspicious. Then when I see stuff like this, black smudge is added when the front of this is lit. You know, when they start putting that heavy black smudge in everywhere, it just, to me, it's a dead tail sign. Dead tail, you know. Listen, this is what they're doing. They're covering something up, plain and simple. You know, like pieces like this, I mean, just, how could that be totally black when this little thing that's sticking up is lit? How could this be all black when everything up to it is lit? Blasted with light. Come on, NASA. Come on. I mean, really. It's pretty cool. Then this thing, I just don't know what to make of it. It looks like there's artifacts left from something that was erased. And it looks extremely ornate. I don't know what to make of it. We'll leave it at that. Alright guys, two seekers out. Wait, wait, you're not rid of me yet. I missed this. I showed you this in the original picture right off their website, but I didn't show you in Adobe with the uh, brightness and contrast adjusted. tell you they really made a mess of these pictures there is just no no resolution left I mean look at I mean how dumb do they think we are like I said I'm no big uh, expert when it comes to uh, you know photos but a little common sense goes a long way with this stuff and there's no reason that this should be totally black in the front Why is it? Because this is some type of carving, statue, gravestone. I mean, I believe most of it's grave markers, but you can see where they put... See this? Uh, and then they put all this fake, this fake sand around it. Just, I mean, it leaves no shadow. See, there was just a little piece left there. But, I mean, there's another... Wherever these big black smudges are, that's a road map to where all the good stuff is. But yeah, they, uh, there's no resolution left in these pictures. They're just so far away, and they're cropping them. And there's just uh, no sense of uh, size, no resolution, but... Uh, that's it, guys. I'm out. I got another one or two coming later, and I'll talk to you guys then. Thanks.